Hello, this is John Calvert, Technology Learning Facilitator for the Clarkstown School District. This session we're going to look at infinite cloners. We're going to talk about what they are, and we're going to look at how you make them. So let's get started. This is a lesson that I put together that basically shows third grade students how to add up coins. You roll the dice, and then you can drag the money down that you need from the top, so a nickel, one penny. And you continue to do that until you have to change out some coins. Now this is possible because the coins at the top here have been made infinite cloners. If I click on the penny, you'll see that there's an infinite symbol in the top right corner. Click on the dime, same thing, infinite symbol. Now, I can pull as many dimes as I want from there, and I'll always have more to pull. I wish I had that problem. These, the, the monies that were spawned from these cloners, are uh, regular objects, so I can delete these as normal. But I can't delete an infinite cloner that way. And we'll look at why that's important later on. But let's look at how we make an infinite cloner. Go to the next page, and we'll see that I've pulled out a number of bears from the Clarkstown District uh, content folder. And I'm going to draw a dividing line straight across the top here, and I'll lock it. And lo and behold, we have a pattern making machine for our kindergarten students. But if I click on these bears and drag them up, they're not cloners, and I want to make a pattern. So to do that, I select a bear, let's say this yellow one, and click on the down pointing arrow in the top right corner. And towards the bottom of the menu, you'll see infinite cloner. If I select that, I can pull as many yellow bears as I want from the cloned yellow bear. I'm going to select the remaining five, and I'm going to click on any one of those down pointing arrows, and I'm going to select infinite cloner. And that makes all of them cloned now. Now I can start making a bear pattern. And I'll always have bears at the bottom to pull from. And students can then make their own patterns this way. Another nice thing about making infinite cloners is I can clear the page by going into the page sorter and clicking on the down pointing arrow and select clear page. And only the bears that you've pulled from the cloners will disappear because a cloned bear acts like a lock. I can't move it except to make a spawn bear. Okay, I hope you have fun making infinite cloners. They're very useful when you're creating lessons in Smart Notebook. Take care.